Howdy, AP Prekel. It's Ms. Kosh, and we are looking at rational functions. Okay, and so a rational function is simply the quotient or the fraction of two polynomials. Uh, let's see if I can spell. Ah, okay, I think that's right. Um, so they're telling us it could be something like 2 over x plus 3. This is this con um, polynomial would be just a constant, um, and then that's linear. We could have a quadratic over a linear. We could have a quadratic over a cubic. Any of those would be rational functions. Um, I think this is a review for, for you from Algebra 2. Um, I did not type up this dictation here, but um, I thought it was very helpful. Um, so we would talk about things being top-heavy, bottom-heavy, or same degree. Um, when they're the same degree, we have a horizontal asymptote. We divide the leading coefficients, okay? So if the leading coefficient is a um, and the a over b are the, is what you get when you divide the leading coefficients. Anyway, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, if it's bottom heavy, then it's always going to go to, um, to the asymptote y equals zero. Now, when it is top heavy, so when in the top heavy scenario, we're going to have to divide it to see what it approaches. Um, and when we start looking at those, I didn't write this in the notes, but we'll start ending up getting things like y is equal to, you could divide out your polynomial and you might get like 2x plus 3 minus 1 over x minus 4. Okay, if, if you are able to rewrite your equation into something like this, you know the original thing would have had um, x minus 4 in the denominator. Um, and so you'd have an asymptote when x is equal to 4, but as x gets ridiculously big, 1 divided by something really ridiculously big gets ridiculously small. Okay, so this whole thing goes to 0. So then this part right here becomes our slant asymptote. So if we were able to take a top-heavy polynomial like this and divide it out and get something like this, and I'm going to teach you in a couple days how to do that, um, but if you're able to divide it out and get to something like this, then the the, it, has, it has what we call a slant asymptote, and that would be the equation from, from the, the equation of the slant asymptote comes from right here. Okay, a little bit of a jump ahead, but here we go. Um, okay, so on this one, they want us to determine if it has a horizontal asymptote, a slant asymptote, or neither. If it has a horizontal asymptote, write the equation. Okay, so this one, I see that they're the same degree, so we have an asymptote of y equals 3 fifths. Um, this one, it's bottom heavy, so we have an asymptote of y equals zero. This one, top heavy, so it's going to have a slant asymptote. And um, write the equation if the function has, they didn't ask us to do anything yet. I promise to teach this to you, but maybe not this minute. Um, if you look at my answer key, I did go into depth on this one. Uh, the next one, we are same degree, so um, keep in mind, AP wants us to reduce. So y equals 1 half would be the equation of our asymptote. This is bottom heavy, so y equals 0 is our asymptote. This is bottom heavy, so y equals 0 is our asymptote. Continuing on, okay, so they want us to write a limit um, situation. So on this one, when we find we have the same degree, top and bottom, so we have an asymptote of y equals, let's reduce 2 over 6 to get 1 over 3. And so what's happening here is the limit as x goes to negative infinity of f of x. As we go, so it's kind of like this scenario, not the right equation, but as we, or or it might be up here and here, whatever, wherever it is, if it's like in these two quadrants versus those two, um, it's still approaching the asymptote. And the asymptote, now this one might do some ridiculous stuff in the middle, but the end, and this, it's not this graph, I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying is the end behavior way out here, it starts approaching the asymptote. So this is going to go to one third. This and the other one would be the limit as x goes to positive infinity of f of x, and that would also be one third. Okay. Um, this one we'll do while we're thinking about it. The limit as x goes to let's call this f of x, and we'll call this one g of x just to change things up. Um, this one, the limit as x goes to negative infinity of f of x. What are we doing? We're getting closer and closer this way um, to two. The limit as x goes to positive infinity of f of x, we're still getting closer and closer to the asymptote of 2. Um, this one has an asymptote of 1. So the limit as x goes to, can you see what I'm doing? Yes, you can. Of g of x is equal to negative 1. The limit as x goes to positive infinity of g of x is equal to negative 1. Let's look at these two up here. 
bottom heavy. So our asymptote is y equals zero. So we just need to say the limit as x goes to negative infinity of g of x is gonna equal zero. Same thing with a positive infinity. I'm too lazy to write it um, to, for the sake of time. There you go, it's both of them. <laughs> this one is top heavy. And so what it's gonna start doing, when we divide all this out, we're gonna get, we have a degree here that's one larger than that. So if I were to divide a quartic by a cubic, I'm gonna get a linear. And when I take this negative three x to the fourth and I divide it by x cubed, I get a negative three x. And so even without doing any more work, the slope of the asymptote is gonna be this which means that my asymptote, I don't even care where it is, but my asymptote is gonna have a slope, well, that doesn't look like a slope of negative three, but let's just pretend it's definitely negative. So what's gonna happen is as my x values get bigger, it's gonna start approaching the shape of this line, which means it's gonna to go to negative infinity. So the limit as x, oh, I just said the positive one, but okay, whatever. H of x is gonna to go to negative infinity. If it goes to, as x is getting smaller, it's gonna follow the shape of this line, that bothers me that this literally is, has a slope of negative one, but okay, I'm gonna let it go. Um, it should have been steeper, but that's okay. Um, the limit as x goes to negative infinity of h of x is going to be positive infinity. And we will talk about that some more as we keep going. Um, this is what they're describing here when he talks about when it's one more. So maybe this one, I'm not sure how we were supposed to do this one when they introduced this later, maybe with looking at our calculator. Um, Sorry, okay, but this one, so let's look at this part down here. They're talking about when when the numerator is one unit larger than the, the denominator, when the degree of the numerator, let me say it that way, when the degree of the numerator is one unit bigger than the degree of the denominator, we're gonna divide it out and we're gonna get um, a linear asymptote, so a slant asymptote. If it's bigger by, so like if I had y is equal to x to the fourth over x squared plus one or something weird, um, this, when I divide it out, I get a, a parabolic asymptote, which is cool, but I don't think AP will be teaching that to us. Um, so it's going to have, it's going to be, um, the slant is going to have a slope of this A over B or parallel, it's going to be parallel to that line. Um, this one was the same degree, so it has the asymptote Y equals one half, so no slant. Okay, this one is bottom heavy, so it's Y equals zero is the asymptote, no slant. Um, this one is top heavy, and if we divide these leading coefficients, then we get, um, it is gonna be um, parallel, so it's gonna, this, this asymptote, um, so the slant asymptote, let me ever say that, has a, slant asymptote has a slope of one half, which would make it parallel to that. Um, this one is top heavy, but it's too big. Notice this is gonna have a parabolic asymptote. So when they say, what are my options? It's not one, it's not two, because these are horizontal asymptotes. This asymptote is the only one that's um, a slant asymptote, and it is parallel to that. So our answer here is this. Um, I hope that was helpful. Go practice, let me know if you have questions.